That is a grand slam. Jack Playhouse not ready to go home today. Deep gone! Go! Deep gone! Walk off! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the NLCS between the Eastern Enforcers and Northern Nighthawks. The series is currently tied one to one for game three in a best of five series. Looking at the starting pitchers for game three, they are the same as game one in Jake Oliver and Jack Blayhouse. Game one resulted in a 5-2 win for the Nighthawks in favor of Jack Blayhouse. Look for Jake Oliver to bounce back to give the Enforcers a chance in game three. And looking at the away team in the fourth seeded Eastern Enforcers, this lineup has been crushing it in the postseason. Led by DJ Oliver and Jake Oliver, Brock Blass will be available for game three, but will be absent in game four. Chase Winkler and Drew Williams need to step it up on the mound to give the Enforcers a chance. And looking at the number one seeded Northern Nighthawks, the home team today, led by Captain Jack Blayhouse, Trey Sluxon at shortstop, Look for Alex Ampleby and Harry Stenberg to start turning around in the postseason, who have been quiet to start it off. Now I'll send it down to the field for some player interviews. All right, I'm here with Northern Nighthawks player Trey Clugston. Trey, we're going into game number three of this series. Big game for you guys. The series is tied one to one. Winner will go up in the series, and. Trey, you know, in game number two, you had a rocky start. You gave up quite a few runs in the first couple innings. Jack was trying to pull you out in the third inning, but you said, no, Jack, I got this. You went in there and you struck out the side in the third, huge, and ended up locking you up, locking you guys up in game number two. How important was that? How, how did you get that done, Trey? Uh, well, I mean, as you saw, it wasn't a great uh, first couple innings, but uh, at the end of the second inning, I really felt like I started to unlock it. And by the time third inning came around, I knew it was kind of do or die. So I'm not going to stand there and pretend like I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to go in there and either get it done or die by that sword. So Jack tried to take me out. Uh, he was going to drag me off that mound. Uh, it wasn't going to happen. We need to get that win. Got it. Evened it up. It was scary. <laughs> I was terrified. Hey, well, it was an incredible performance. You did great to lock up that game number two. And I guess heading into this game three, we do have a stat, and it's kind of crazy. 90% of the time, teams in the AWA who play in a game five series, game number three, if you win game three, that team normally moves on. How important is this game number three, locking up this win and going up a game ahead against the Enforcers? Uh, I think it's mission critical. I mean, it's you get ahead, it's much easier to stay ahead than it is to come from behind. So if we get game three, I really think that we'll just finish it up and lock it up just because we got Jack coming in. You know he's going to come deal. So I'm not worried about that. We just got to give him some run support. All right, I'm here with the Enforcers player, Chase Winkler. Chase, you had a little bit of struggles in game number two pitching. You had a 24 ERA. Brock Blayhouse had to come in and relieve you. Um, if you're called on again in this series to pitch, what are, what are the adjustments are you going to make on the mound? You know, I was getting kind of crushed last game. I was really hanging it. I think I gave up like four or five dingers, maybe probably more. So, you know, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to gas it up a little bit. I know I've been kind of lobbing it in there, so I'm going to try to maybe ramp the deal up, try to hang around the 55, 56 mile per hour margin, and hopefully that helps, helps me out, Mark. I, I agree, I agree. I'm rooting for you, Chase. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> it's not easy to throw up there, though. No, no. Completely understand. Um, well, Chase, you've actually done very well against Jack. You're starting to figure him out. Jack Blayhouse, arguably the best player or best pitcher in the AWA. Uh, you know, what can we expect you to expect to see from you in games three, four, and five? You know, with Jack, I started off really slow against him. I think I was like 0 for 13 with like 10 strikeouts. And at that point, we're halfway through the season, I decided to scrap my swing, just start over, got rid of the leg kick. And I think, you know, just putting the ball in play, waiting for that little curve. And just fucking, uh, just smashing it on, the, <laughs> smashing it on the ground. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. 
There we go. There we go. All right, Chase. Well, you've been playing third base all series yep. while Jake Oliver's on the mound. How important is it going to be to knock down a few ground balls at third, make some plays at third for your pitcher, Jake Oliver? You know, Jake, he's a, one of the best pitchers in the league, of course. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, when he happens to get hit, it's crucial that uh, uh, our guys in the field knock it down, you know, keep it in front of us. Don't let the runners run around like a merry-go-round. And, you know, just keep, keep it in front of you and make the play. And that's how we do it. Hey, there we go. We'll chase. Good luck the rest of the way here in the ALCS. Thanks, or NLCS. And we're getting ready to start game number three of the National League Championship Series. Jack Blayhouse will be on the mound for the Nighthawks. The series is tied one game to one. DJ Oliver leads it off for the Enforcers. Ball one. Ball four, four pitch walk for DJ Oliver. Popped up into the air, Trey Cluxton underneath it, makes the grab, and he pegs DJ Oliver for a double play. Wow. <laughs> Not good base running from DJ Oliver. Strike three, Chase Winkler strikes out swinging. And the Nighthawks three up, three down in the top of the first. Zero to zero is the score as we go into the bottom of the first here in game three. Jake Oliver, three pitch strikeout to Trey Clugston. In the air, deep, gone. Jack Playhouse solo home run. Gives the Nighthawks the lead. One to nothing. Here in the bottom of the first of game three. There you go, Jack. Oh, Come on, baby. Woo! Come on, Jack. Strike three. Gets him looking. And there's now two outs here. That is ripped in the deep left center, gone. Harry Stenberg, solo shot to the deepest part of the park. Whoever called that definitely called that. And the Nighthawks now lead it 2 nothing here in the bottom of the first. Huge jack from Harry Stenberg right there. There you go, Harry. In the deep left center, gone. Ray Clugston up for the second time in the inning. That is ripped into play right to DJ Oliver. He flips the first, and that is not going to be in time. And play right back to Jake Oliver. He bobbles the ball, and Jack and Trey are going to reach safely at both, both first and second. And that is deep, gone. Three run home run, Alex Umpleby. And the Nighthawks now lead it five nothing in the bottom of the first. Clutch home runs from Jack Playhouse, Harry Stenberg, and now Alex Umpleby. Put the Nighthawks up five nothing. Three run. Yeah. 
Strike three, swing and a miss on the changeup. Right, Harry Stenberg strikes out right there. But the Nighthawks get five runs in the inning. Four pitch walk to Brock Playhouse. And that's popped up into the air, Trey Clugston. That was Alex Umpleby. Catch the ball right behind him. Rio. Oh yeah, right back to Jack Playhouse. Tags DJ Oliver right there for the second out. Three, 12 6 curve from Jack Blayhouse. Gets Jake Oliver looking right there. What a pitch from Jack Blayhouse as he gets the 12 6 to connect. Five to nothing remains the score as we head into the bottom of the second. And the Nighthawks look to extend their lead. Ray Clugston gets on for the Nighthawks. Yeah, boy, Good play, there. right to Chase Winkler. He flips over to second and gets the out at second base. Chase Winkler, great play. <coughs> More pitch walk to Alex Humpleby. up into the air, Jake Oliver makes the catch for the second out. Oh. Strike three, big strikeout from Jake Oliver and no runs come across in the bottom of the second for the Nighthawks. Five nothing remains the score, Nighthawks lead. Started off for the enforcers. And that is ripped deep and it'll fall for a single. Chase Winkler. Four pitch walk to Brock Playhouse. Thanks, so. Appreciate it. Yeah. Ripped right to Alex Humpleby, flips the first and gets Drew Williams for the out. Hi, and DJ Oliver reaches with the walk. And that's deep. But Alex Humpleby is right there to make the catch. That's the second out. And that's in play. One run will score. RBI single for Chase Winkler. Did not go. Run will come in for the enforcers. Five to two is the score. Swing of it, strike three, and the Nighthawks take game number three and go ahead two games to one here in the National League Championship Series. Five to the score. Yes. 
All right, and we're about to start game four here in the NLCS. Jake Oliver will be on the mound in game number four, a must win game for the Eastern Enforcers as the Northern Nighthawks are up two games to one. Trey Clugston will lead it off as always for the Northern Nighthawks. And we are about to get this game underway. And that is flared over by Drew. It's a fair ball and he steps on first for out number one. And that is ripped deep off the wall in left center. Jack is rounding first, heading for second, and he's in there with a one out double. And that is ripped deep, gone. Jackson Park, two run home run here in the top of the first, and the Nighthawks are leading it two to nothing early. Jackson Carr's first at bat in the NLCS and the playoffs. And he goes deep. Two run shot and the Nighthawks lead it two to nothing. That is crushed deep. It's gonna stay in the yard. Drew Williams cannot make the catch. And Trey will reach. Hits the top of the strike zone, strike three. And that's the first strikeout here in game four for Jake Oliver, two away. Swing and a miss, strike three. And Jake Oliver ends the top of the first with two consecutive strikeouts, but two runs do come home for the Nighthawks thanks to a two run home run from Jackson Carr. That is gone. DJ Oliver leads it off with a solo home run. And it is now two to one Nighthawks here in the bottom of the first. No outs for the enforcers. And they're off to a hot, hot start so far here in the bottom of the first. That is gone. DJ Oliver leads. And that is ripped deep, gone. Solo home run, Jake Oliver and the Oliver brothers go back to back with solo home runs here to start the bottom of the first. And this game is tied. That is ripped deep, gone. And that is ripped, it's got a chance, but Jackson Carr is able to hold on right there. And that is popped up into the air, Jack Blayhouse is underneath it, and he makes the catch for the second out here in the bottom of the first, and just like that, Popped up into the air, Trey Cluxton makes the catch. Ultimately a good inning for Trey Cluxton. He strike three, Jake Oliver. Starts off the top of the second with a strikeout. is gonna be a ground ball in play to Jake Oliver. He tries to jump throw over to first. Outside and Jackson Carr.
strike three. Jake Oliver able to get Trey Clugston to chase right there. Popped up into the air. Drew Williams coming on and he makes the catch for the third out here in the top of the second. No runs come across for the Nighthawks. Two to two will remain the score. And that is ripped deep off the fence. Jake Oliver just misses a line drive home run. Four pitch walk to Chase Winkler. And that is popped up into the air, but Jackson Carr is right underneath it, makes the grab, and Jake Oliver tags and goes. And that's ripped into play right to Jack Blayhouse. He bobbles the ball. No play for Jack Blayhouse. Jake Oliver scores and the enforcers go up a run. And that is ripped. The ball is crushed in midair. It was not going out. And that is going to be an RBI single for Jake Oliver. That is ripped in play down the first baseline. Jackson Carr bobbles the ball and he's not gonna be able to make the play. DJ Oliver turns around third and he scores. And Chase Winkler advances to... Four pitch walk, Drew Williams gets on for the enforcers and bases. Game already. And that is popped up in the air into center field. Jack Blayhouse is able to make the grab. Four pitch walk to Jake Oliver and another run comes in for the enforcers. In play, Jack Blayhouse bobbles the ball and doesn't have a play as all runners are safe. A run comes home. Swing and a miss, strike three, and Drew Williams strikes out on a pitch that hits him. But five runs come home for the enforcers. Seven to two is the score, and then the enforcers are just three outs away from tying this NLCS series at two games to two. Jackson Carr for the Nighthawks. Start off the, top of the third, and that's in play right to DJ Oliver. Flips the first, and that is going to be in time to get Jackson Carr one out here in the top of the third, and the enforcers just two outs away now. Oh! Ray Clugston works a walk. Ball four, Jake Oliver after getting one out. Ball four, Jake Oliver has walked the bases loaded here in the top of the third. All four, that's four consecutive walks for Jake Oliver here. Strike three, Jake Oliver strikes out Jack Blayhouse. Big out for the enforcers. And there's now two down in the top of the third. Enforcers just an out away from tying this series, two games to two. But Jackson Carr, the tying run, steps in with the bases loaded. And that's ripped right to Drew Williams. For the third out, 
here in the top of the third. The Enforcers take game four and tie this series two games to two. They force a game five, this critical game five. Winner to the 2021 AWA World Series.